If you can't live without crafting, watch our video. These craft hacks will make your DIY projects much easier. Are you fond of cute embellishments? Then you'll find it interesting to make a pretty mini garland for your design experiments. Take a cord. Attach a small piece of tape. Make a V-cut to get a little flag. Attach tape of a different pattern. Snip it off to make a flag. Continue sticking flags in equal intervals. We've got a pretty mini flag garland. You can use it to embellish a vase or gift wrapping. Make a suitable cup coaster from wooden sticks. You can use either ice cream sticks or coffee stirs. Hot glue four sticks to shape a square. Attach two top stirs on the ribs to make a volumetric coaster. Add an extra one in the middle to make it stable. Cover the frame with the sticks. Hot glue one by one. We've got a flat cover. The marvelous coaster looks like a wooden raft. If you feel like recovering your old cork coaster, paint it bright. Mix some hues to paint the coaster. Cover half. We've chosen a turquoise tint. Paint the other half in a different color. We've used pink. Leave the middle strip unpainted. Let the cork texture be visible. When dry, add some details. Draw a polka dot pattern on the pink field. The funny coaster now looks like a stylized slice of a watermelon. Another scrapbooking trick will help you cut out pages for an album. We'll show you how to get the cleanest cut by using binder clips. Fold a few pages in half. Cut them out with a craft knife. Fold up again. Cut out. Now that's enough. We've got the necessary number of pages but the edges are not straight and perhaps uneven. Secure the paper pile with the binder clips on top and bottom. Trim the sides with the craft knife. Use a metal ruler to make a straight cut. Okay, we've got the clean cut. Now, let's make it smooth with fine sandpaper. Perfect! Your handmade scrapbook pages are so nice, it's as if you bought them at a supply store. Do you like to use a sponge for painting? And then after, you have to scrub your fingers to get the paint off. There's a simple trick to avoid it. Take a clothespin and keep your hands clean. Easy, isn't it? And very convenient, even a bit unusual. You paint and don't have to wash your hands afterwards. Oh, these color pencils are too pale. We can hardly see the picture. Let's solve the problem easily. Pour hot water in a glass. Submerge the pencils. Hold for a couple of minutes. Let's test. Perfect! They're as bright as ever. You shouldn't rush in a store to buy new expensive ones. This simple life hack will turn any pencils into an awesome art tool. And now, a few tips of how to make holiday decorations. This eye-catching garland and table balls can be low-cost centerpieces of a holiday party design. However, it can take much time to make it. You'll need a balloon and threads and white glue. You'll have to smear the glue across the thread. The glue can get on your hands and on the table. And the threads are constantly slipping off the ball. And then at last, you've got no desire to continue. It's the right time to invent something interesting. Take a plastic cup. Pierce the bottom with a needle and pull up the thread of the necessary color. Pour a bit of white glue into the cup. The thread passes through the glue. You can wrap it around the balloon, leaving your hands clean. And there's no glue drops on the table. 
cool! We've made a lot of balls quickly and easily. The handmade garland and lighters look cute and create a holiday atmosphere. Are you out of glue? It's no problem if you have nail polish on hand. You probably have nail polish you don't like or is expired. Use it instead of glue. Apply the polish to the corners of the paper. Press over. Apply a polish strip. It holds tight. If you are out of paper glue, don't rush to a supply store. The nail polish you don't use to paint your nails will substitute for the glue to attach paper elements. Do you need to write a big figure without paint and a brush? Take washi tape. Mark the figure outline with a pencil. Attach the tape across the lines. Correct the shape with a craft knife. Use this trick in card making to create bright images of simple shapes. This playful little ball keeps bouncing all the time. Last time we put it into a jar. Now we'll check a few other life hacks. Attach a binder clip to a little box. Put in a ball of wool and pass the thread through the handles. Take a regular funnel for another hack. Put in the ball and pass the thread through the tube. Turn it over to cover the ball. Your thread won't tangle and the ball won't roll away. Transform a regular cup with a lid into a no-spill paint one. Use a modeling knife to make a cross cut in the lid of a Play-Doh cup. Widen it with a pencil. Pour in water and put on the lid. You can paint with a thin handled brush. If the cup falls, water won't spill over. Have you torn off a zipper pull tab? Replace it with a paper clip. Work on it to make it handy. Place a clip on a piece of baking paper. Add a strip of hot glue in the middle. When cool, paint it with matching nail polish. Peel off the paper. Fasten the clip to the tab holder. Perfect! This simple hack has transformed a plain paper clip into a useful pull tab. You can also use a piece of wire instead. Are your thread and cord remains scattered around? Use this little trick to organize your working space quickly and easily. We'll need wooden clothespins. Fasten the thread end and wrap it around a clothespin. Wind the thread around its coils from bottom to top and secure the other end. You can store any kind of thread or thin cord in this style. They'll never get tangled and you'll always have on hand the spool you need. What's wrong with my scrapbook scissors? The upper blade top has torn off. It's a pity. I'll have to buy new shears. Don't rush to a store. A hot glue gun will help. Hot glue the top of the blade. Perfect! You don't have to buy a new pair as your decorative scissors will serve for a long time. What else can we do with a clear jar? We've tried a lot of ideas. This time, we'll turn it into a gift package using the hot glue gun. Attach a wide purple ribbon. Take two pieces for a bow. Make it easy using the hot glue. Cover the ribbon seam with the bow. Hot glue a pom-pom ribbon under the top. Make delicate paper roses from pastel color squares. Round the corners. Cut out a spiral. Hot glue the end. Roll a rosebud. Make three flowers. Embellish the top. Tie a bow from thin, pale pink ribbon. Hot glue next to the roses. Add a tag. Put pearl beads in the flowers. 
They look like droplets of morning dew on the delicate petals. Place a miniature butterfly on the pink rose. Wow! Is it that clear jar? You can put any gift in this gorgeous package to make it unforgettable. The materials are simple. Make a cool surprise for your friends. Be sure to subscribe, give your thumbs up and ring the bell. Watch a new video when it chimes.